Hi, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about the chisection and review of protection statute. Chisection, which is the process of bringing to an end of the protection that they have given to you, bringing to an end or cancelling it of the protection that they have given to you. It might be a zero document or subsidiary document or any other type of document when you have breached the laws or the rules that they have given out. Like for those ones that are having asylum, or they are, those ones that are having a zero document, those ones they are not expected to go back to their country or they are not expected to do one thing or the other that will breach the protection rule. So if you have done that thing that has breached your protection rule, then that document can be placed under cessation, under the process of being cancelled. Then they can be able to cancel it and withdraw it back from you. But for those ones who thought maybe as they are giving them the document, the document is just forever. I'm telling you, the document is still placed under review. Under review, whether a salon document, whether subsidiary or any type of document, the document is still placed under review. Meaning anything you do, the document can be placed under cessation, under process of cancellation. They can be able to withdraw it from whoever that has breached the law. So if you go to your contract, someone that's having a zero document and you are not allowed to go, when you return back, they can be able to place that document under cessation, the process of withdrawing it for you. And they can take the document from there. I've taken it from many people because they did not know. Some were even here, they didn't even go to their country, but they requested from something from their country, or they do want to know at the end the document was taken or seized from them. So you got to know this as many that are having document want you to know that any document they have given to you from the camp, everything is still under review. They have given it to you. It doesn't mean it's finished forever. No. That is why it's very important. If you can change the document, it's better you change the document for you not to be under that same status again. So if you can change the document, it's more better. After you have changed it from that of the UN document or from any kind of press as asylum document, then all those protection, all those breach of law will not be applicable to you. So there are some people as well who are maybe who got their document through gay or through other means. Now they want to turn back to their former state, maybe getting married and all that things. It's very, very difficult. Until you change that status, you cannot be able to do it. So you got to change something. So before you'll be able to do it, if you fall into that trap by going to your country to go and do that legal marriage, why you have not changed that document, then your document can be placed under cessation, process of being withdrawn or taken away from you. Before I go further, if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Now, let's get started. So it says, refugee status is subject to revocation by the Italian authorities when legal grant to deny the status arise is subject to revocation. So there's nothing that bans it or that makes it not to be revocated. There's nothing. So it's subject to revocation. So facts, when facts have been presented erroneously or omitted by the requester, or false documentation has been produced, then through that process, they can revoke it from you because everything is being placed under review. After you have gotten your document, the commission, they are still revealing your document. Some people have gotten it. After one year, two years, the commission will call them back. Before they know it, Questura will call them back. They will tell them to go back to commission. That commission has revoked their protection. So they have to go back. It might be based on, maybe later they don't find out that every statement that the person made we are based on erroneous ways. So maybe the commission will find out that everything that the person gave, the words that the person gave in the commission, we are errors in it. And also, or there were omission in it. And also, false documentation. You know, sometimes when you are doing things, you have to present different types of things. Maybe at the end, they will find that some of the things that they presented, we are also false documentation. They were fake. So that's it. So on that grant, your commission, the commission can revoke even after two years, after five years, every time they still revisit the case. So don't think they have given it to you, it's forever. That's why it's very, very essential. When they have given it to you, make every possible effort to quickly change that document. Even though it's five years, 
I know five years they have the benefit of waiting for after five years they can apply for Italian citizenship or they can also turn it to Qatar Sojourner. If you know that some of the things that you have said might be erroneous and one thing or the other, if you have a job or you have Lavoro Autonomous, you can be able to also change it, change it to Lavoro Autonomous or change it to your Lavoro Subordinator. It is preferable that you have one year document that can be able to be renewed. Then commission will have no legal grant to ban that document. It is possible that way. It is possible even from five years. You can change it to two years. It is possible. You can change it to Lavoro subordinato. It depends on you. But if you know that all those things is erroneous things or there are errors or false documentation that I have used to present it, review. They always do review. I have to let you know. They always do review. They always do review. So it says refugees or foreigners admitted to subsidiary protection are subject to expulsion when they are considered a danger to state security. That is the fact. When they have granted you the protection, that does not mean that you have to live any kind of life you like. No. When you live a life that is not good, a life that is not perfectly right, aligning with the rules and regulation of the land, the protection can be removed from you. So that's what they are saying. So it can be taken away or to the public order of security after being convicted of a crime punishable by incarceration for 4 to 10 years. It can also be taken away from that person. After they have given you that protection, you went to go and carry drugs or you went to go and commit one criminal case or the other. That incarceration, maybe your prison sentence is up to 4 to 10 years. That document can be taken away from you. So that's what they are saying. So in life, whatsoever thing they have given to you, try to protect it. Then your protection will also be reserved for you. It says requesters who have obtained refugee status or subsidiary protection may expressly renounce their status. So you can also expressly renounce it. If you don't need it any longer, you can renounce it yourself, meaning you can cancel it yourself. So according to Article 9 of the Qualification Decree, a third country child ceases to be a refugee if he or she one has voluntarily reavailed himself or herself of the protection of the country of nationality. Now the person can cease to be a refugee or can cease to have that protection if the person reavailed his or herself of the protection of the country. If you go back to your country because now your country is not safe for you that your protection will automatically be seized from you. They all have lost its nationality as voluntarily reacquired it. So this is the place where those ones, especially those ones that are having subsidiary, but for those ones that are having asylum, it's a no-go area. You cannot venture to enter your embassy, and you cannot venture to enter Nigeria as a whole. That's for those ones having asylum, but for those ones having subsidiary. Now, there's a case that some people are even using Nigerian passport for their subsidiary. They want to enter Nigeria, they won't go to their embassy to go and do uh, their nationality uh, passport. If Questura, continue to say this, if Questura, Questura ordered you, because people have called me and be asking me how they're going to go about it, I tell them they should go to their Questura. Now, if your Questura ordered you or ask you to go and do your nationality passport, which is your passport, then you have the right of entering your country. But if Questura tells you no, because Italian and their law is very complicated, it is written down in law that people having a zero and also subsidiary five years, they cannot enter their country. They cannot even enter their embassy. So we haven't hearing that some Questuras are telling some people to go and bring a nationality passport as their passport before they can be able to renew their document, which is their subsidiary, which is in law. It's not supposed to be. Now, if Questura have requested you to do that if Questura have told you to go and bring your Nigerian passport, your nationality passport, then it means that you can also use that nationality passport to go to your country as well. So because they are the one that have given you the go, because some people have used it to go home, at the end they were able to renew it for them, there was no problem. But there are some people, don't look at people that Mr. A used it, he went to go and do his nationality passport, he used it to enter his country, then you also go. Your law applying to you might be different and your questura might also be different because in Italy they are like they are working in different ways. Questura A will say one thing, Questura B will say another thing. So before you do anything, be sure. Be sure. Don't just look at what people say. Be sure. Go to your Questura, go and confirm from them. 
Can I do my nationality passport on this, my subsidiary? If they say yes, I've given you a go ahead, then you can be able to do it. But if they have not given you a go ahead, don't venture it, don't try it. And also for those ones that are having asylo as well, there are many of them, they want to go home to go and remarry or to go and marry their wife back at home or to carry their children to bring, to do one thing or the other. You cannot be able to do that. Don't go because your wife is at home. You can go secretly through the back door, through other countries that are also in UN to enter into your country. But if you go, don't do anything that is legal. Don't do and do marriage. Don't do and do any certificate that you have to write your name. If not, those things can stand against you, can lead your document to be seized from you. If you even go to your country through any other back door, but don't do anything that is written down on your name. Don't do it. If you do it, it can lead to anything happening to your document. So you got to know that. If you want to do marriage, you first and foremost have to, if you can change your documents better, change that status from refugee or from a protection asylum to normal document, which is Lavoro subordinato work permit or Lavoro autonomy. It means that you are not in the country because of work. Because the thing is this, you are in this country just for them to protect you. So that is it. So they are giving you that protection. But if you change your status, you should change that sojourner to normal Lavoro subordinate or work permit. It means that you are no longer in this country because of their protection. It means that you are not in this country because of work. You are here by yourself, taking care of yourself. But under that same document you have, as zero or subsidy, it means that you are in this country under their protection. They are the one caring for you. They are the one protecting you. But if you change that document to normal Lavoro document, then you are not in this country based on work. Meaning if your work finished, you have to go back to your country. So that is the reason why you are in this country. So first and foremost, you have to change it. If you, if you, even if it's from five years coming back to two years. If it's pre it is preferable if you are if you want to do anything regarding to your home and you're eagerly of going back to your country or you want to go and marry your wife so that you can be able to bring her to this place. So you got to change it to that either two years. Or if you are due, there are some people they are already due and they are working already. You have three years code. Those ones that are having a zero asylum document a zero. So if you have three years code and you have gotten that exam B Uno, then another thing is this you can also apply for Italian citizenship. After you have got Italian citizenship, then you are already out from that status, from that asylum status, from refugee status, then you are now a citizen of Italy. Then you can be able to also do whatsoever thing you want to do as well. And for those ones that also have also claimed gay, homosexual, all that have used it to get their asylum document, their asylum, you cannot go back on, you cannot, you, you have claimed gay, you cannot go and marry at the moment. If you do it, you do legal marriage in Italy here, yeah, or you do legal marriage in Nigeria, wherever, if you have done what you are claimed as a gay, you can. If you have done it, then that protection can be taken away from you because they gave you that protection because your country is against gay people. So that's why they are protecting you. So now when you now go back and tell them that you have repented or you have changed from gay, then that protection automatically will be seized from you. So before you do that, if you want to get married, if you are eager of getting into marriage, first and foremost, before you do it, you got to change that document either to labor autonomy or labor or subordinato or any other thing or maybe you are due for Italian citizenship then you can apply for Italian citizenship after you have gotten that then you can be able to do anything you want then the commission will have no rights over you as of now the commission still have rights over you they are still reviewing everything you are doing they are still reviewing your document even your case till now people don't know they are still reviewing your case the case that you have said three years ago they are still reviewing it whether how true is it so that is it so number three says has acquired Italian nationality, meaning you can be able to cease to become a refugee, as I explained earlier. You can be able to cease to become a refugee if you have acquired Italian nationality. So for those not having uh, a zero document, if you are working ever since you have three years school and you have gotten that B or no exam, you got to quickly change it. 
So before you can leave that status, from before you can be able to leave that refugee status, even though you have claimed gay, so you can also be able to leave it then you can be able to do whatsoever you want to do with your life. If you have gotten it, that document cannot be taken away from you again. So that is only based on terrorist grant, only based on crime against the state that that Italian citizenship can be taken away from you. If it's not terrorism, if it's not crime against the state, it cannot be taken away from you. So if you are gay before, now you have changed. So if you are still under that refugee status, if you have changed, automatically they will take that document from you. But if you have changed it to Italian citizenship, they cannot be able to take Italian citizenship from you. Then you can be able to remarry or do and do marry with your wife forever. So that is it. You see, this is or has voluntarily reestablished his or herself in a country which he or she let or outside which he or she remain owing to fear of persecution. So if you have voluntarily returned back to your country, then the refugee status will also cease. They will take the protection away from you. So that's what they are saying. The only option, the only option for them not to take it away from you because if you constitute anything, if you do anything, they can take it away because your document is still very much under review. I want you to know that even those ones that are having two years document, your document is still under review. They have given you whether humanitarian or other cases especially. Those documents, it means that it's a temporary document. People don't know. It's a temporary document. Whoever that is having it is a temporary. They're only just going to, just, that they just gave it to you for a little while. They can recall you and take that document away from you and say, go back to your country. Your country is okay now. So quickly, if they give you that document, quickly make effort. If it's true, if you don't have work, if it's labor or if it's autonomous, go and put it in autonomous. Quickly send it to autonomous one year from there, be paying tax before you can be able to get cutter and live a decent life as well. That is what matters. Live a decent life in the country that you have. In the country that is giving you protection, you that's having an asylum document, you that's having protection subsidiary. Don't leave because you have gotten police cannot do you anything you see police you, you cause them you sort them no live a decent life as well then everything will also work out for you the refugee status can also be seized when the person can no longer because the circumstances in connection with which he has been recognized as a refugee has ceased to exist when the circumstances that made them to give you that protection is no longer there the circumstances that, for instance, in your home country, it was a war. It was war that made them give you that protection. And now the war has ceased. The war has finished in your country. Automatically, because they are reviewing it, they will review it again, call you back to commission and tell you that the war in your country has finished. So meaning the protection is finished as well. So that is it. Maybe it was Boko Haram. Now Boko Haram will be eliminated. Now you have to go back to your country. So if it's all that thing, maybe once you're there, that thing has ceased. The, that thing has ceased, then the protection also ceased. So that is why people are saying, quickly change it to another status. Change it to another kind of thing that they will not have say or right over you again. It says, in the case of stateless person, he or she is able because the circumstances in connection with which he or she has been recognized as a refugee have been ceased to exist to return to the country of former habitual residents. He or she, the same thing as well. When the circumstances cease, the person has to return back to his or her country. So when the circumstances cease, you that say that you claim to be a gay homosexual, when they are find out that that circumstances, the reason why they gave it to you have changed. Now you said you have repented. Now you have come back to your normal state. Now that protection, I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, that protection will also cease. So that is why it's very, very important before you change your status, you have to, before you change that circumstances, you have to change your refugee status. Change it to either Lavoro Autonomo or Lavoro Subordinato. Or if you are due for Italian citizenship, quickly apply for Italian citizenship. If you are working overseas, you have three years to change it to Italian citizenship before you can do anything that will change your circumstances. So before you can do anything, before you can marry, if you are gay, before you can go and marry, I won't start carrying women. Before you can do that, you have to go and change that statue first. So that is it. When you do that, your document cannot be taken away from you. So now let me quickly tell you a story of what happened in France in 2018. It says, France National Court of Asylum rules in a case of cessation of refugee statute. It was a court that ruled on that case. Now, it happens on Friday, September 14, 2018. It says, on 14 September, the French National Court of Asylum decided on a case concerning the cessation of Bangladeshi National Refugee Status after he obtained an official document from his country. 
after the man, a Bangladeshi, obtained an official document from his country. He was having five years asylum document, asylum document in France. So the man's document was taken away from him after they found out that he obtained or he collected document from his country. What was the document? A driver's license. Driving license, that's what he collected from his country. So the applicant had been recognized as a refugee since 2011, but the status ceased in 2016. After four years or five years, he said, by virtue of a decision issued by the director of the French office for the protection of refugees and stateless persons, as the applicant had obtained a Bangladeshi driving license, so as he has obtained the driving license, they seized that protection from his asylum document, five years document. So he said he was deemed to have accepted the protection of his own country. So that was what they ruled. That was the reason why they collected it from him. Because you have seek protection in that place. They have given you asylum stateless document, which is uh, as zero five years protection. So meaning you cannot be able to go back to your country. Now you have gone back to your country to go and collect your driving license in your country. Meaning your country still like you. So they are still under, you are still under their protection. So meaning you don't need yeah, protection, asylum protection, and look at so that protection, asylum protection was taken away from him. So let's look at how the applicant was able to defend it. So it says the applicant, however, stated that a driving license was a regular employment requirement and he only communicated with the authorities by phone while he was in France. So that was the defense the applicant put out that a driver license, he needed it because in the place he was, without the driving license, he cannot be able to find work. So it was only relevant, it was good for him to have driving license, for him to be able to work in the country in France where he is. So that was the defense. So the applicant says it was relevant, the regular, the driving license was a regular employment requirement. So sometimes without driving license, they don't employ you some work. So it was a regular employment requirement. That was the reason why he did it. And also, he did not go to the country. He said he only communicated online with them. He only called them. I need so so and so thing. He only communicated online with the authority by phone. While he was still in France, he did not leave their protection. So he was still in France. That was the defense of the of the applicant. It says in order to find how a third person could obtain that document on his behalf. So he was not the one that go. He only communicated in order for another person, maybe his brother or whoever, to help him to go and collect the document and later send it to him over there in France. So he himself did not go. He said the court noted that the applicant presence in France at the time of the issuance of the document as well as his wife rather than himself being the person who obtained the document in Bangladesh are decisive factors in the consideration of citizenship under Article 1. So the court now noted that the applicant presence was still in France even while he made the call and also he was not the one that went to Bangladesh to go and collect the driver's license. So this has to our people. Don't go to your country of origin if you are having asylum document and even though you pass back your door to enter, don't do anything that will write your name down that you have been there. So that is it. If not, when they start the process of selection, they can take it away from you. Now, another factor that also made the court to consider the matter was that it says, moreover, the fact that his wife had bribed the Bangladeshi authorities in order to secure an uneventful interaction further convince the judges that the applicant is not actually enjoying the protection of his home country. Another fact that made the judge to consider the man to make them release back the document for him was that his wife also stated that he bribed just like Nigeria, he bribed those officials because Physically, the man needs to have come to do it himself, the driver's license. But just like Nigeria, you can pay money and they can do it for you. Then there was an evidence that the wife bribed those people. So that was the reason why they were able to do the driver's license for him. So meaning that, I wish maybe it was not bribed, meaning the, the country was in favor with them or favor for them. So meaning that they were able to get that driver's license one based on say they were able to bribe them because physically they would not they would have been able to go and get it so that was another fact that the judges seen that made them to rule in favor of the man so therefore the courts restored the applicant's refugee status after confirming that his case did not fall 
under any other subjection or exclusion cause. So that is it. So thank God for that man. He was able to come out from that mess. Thank God for that man. They were able to restore back to him his document. So to other people who have passed through the same stress as well, many have lost their document because of ignorance. Ignorance keys. Ignorance can do anything. Many have really lost their document because they did not know. So that's why I'm passing this message out to everyone. Having an asylum document, a zero document, subsidiary, or any type of document, every case can still be placed under cessation process of then taking it away from your ending it or review they can also they always review it whether even though you are five years you have stayed five years in this country your case every day they see analyze it they see read it they see look at it how true is it so for those of you that have used one thing or that will claim that document you better do something so like what i said i keep on saying quickly change that document if you are due for italian citizenship quickly apply for it after you have applied for it then you can be able to change your status you can be able to even fly to over to your country if you are a gay you can be able to marry even 10 women so you can be able to do that but you first and foremost need to change it even though you don't you don't have document or you, do, you are not able to apply for italian citizenship you can still be able to change it to two years document or one year normal document lavoro autonomo or lavoro subordinato don't look at it that hard from five years you have not come back to one you have not come back to two years if you really need something you can do it because of that something you need if your wife is at home you want to bring your wife you can also be able to you want to go and do marriage you are claim gay or one thing or the other you can bring your document back to two years so you can be able to go and marry your wife and bring your wife over to this place rather than going through all that though you go through all that to take away your document your wife will not be able to enter here your children will not be able to enter here so be wise and think wisely before you do whatsoever thing you want to do and above all as I've said above all, living a decent life matters a lot. It does not only matters to you, it matters to people around you. So that is it. If I live a decent life, it will matter to you. If you live a decent life, it will matter to me. If you live a life that is not good, or me live a life that is not good, it will also indirectly, people don't indirectly, it affects me. Indirectly can also affect whoever that is living their pleasable life. That is it. When you live a life that is not okay in the sight of the Italians, so they, because of you, this is black this is nigeria with that eye they use it to look at him that is trying to live a decent life they use that eye to look at whoever is trying to live a decent life then with that it will affect me directly it will affect the other person indirectly so if i live a decent life you live a decent life it will portray a good thing in the eyes of the people around us so thank you for watching thank you for listening please like comment and also share it to others as well so that they will get to know about it and please if you know you have not subscribed to my youtube channel don't forget to do that and when you subscribe make sure you click the notification bell so whenever i upload any new videos or information you will know thank you and god bless you bye